Okay, I'm just going to walk a uh, GoDaddy account and you've set up for Linux hosting instead of Windows. Um, it's really easy to set up a WordPress blog, which is definitely the software that I recommend. Um, just log into your GoDaddy account, and this will be a similar process for any hosting that you have as long as it's like a major host. Um, go to your go to hosting here on the left side, um, scroll through to the website that you want to set up, and click Manage Account. And when you do that, this is the screen that will pop up, and you just go over here to the left blogs. These are the different software packages that you can use, and again, I would definitely recommend using WordPress. Um, just click on WordPress there. It'll pull up the application. You just click install, and I'll. And there basically, there's just a couple steps of setting up username and password, and, and telling GoDaddy exactly where you want the um, the blog to go. So again, you just select your website here. Um, this will just give give it a name. You know, you can just put blog or, or WordPress or whatever there. Um, here you just set your password and remember to write these down because I think there's a couple different passwords that you'll have after this process. Um, now you can also have this like WordPress or blog here. This if you leave this blank here, which is what I've done for my sites, your blog will be set up on your in your root directory. So if someone just types in your website, it'll come to your blog page. But you can determine what the uh, front page of your blog is. So that's that's um, not a big deal unless you hear otherwise for a specific reason. I would just do it in the root directory. Um, and then for configuration here, you just assign. Your admin name and admin password are going to be the username and password that you need to log into your blog in order to write posts and make changes and things. Um, and then once you go through this and hit finish, you're basically done. And in the next video, I will show you how to change themes and how to kind of access, um, get access into your blog. So that's that's it. It's really easy to set up on this side. And then uh, changing the look and feel of it and adding functionality to it is also kind of point and click stuff, but that's a little bit more a little bit more detailed than this.